in downtown are having to set up shops somewhere else. They say they're losing money and customers in the container park. Action News reporter Marissa Keniston spoke with one business still inside the park to learn more about those problems. Jenea Joseph is the manager here at Blowout Dollhouse. Blowouts, we do extensions. And her salon, all the way to the end, is on the third floor of downtown's Container Park. The foot traffic is slower. I talked with three tenants today, some still in the facility, some already evicted. All of them told me about their struggles to bring clients to the third floor. A lot of people don't come to the third floor because everything is on the main level. So I took a look with my cell phone. This is the activity from the bottom floor. And this, the third floor. Jenea Johnson says it's quite a difference. Nothing's up here to draw the customers up here. According to their website, downtown Container Park is filled with boutique retail shops. That means most of these retailers are small businesses. But tenants say some of the rules are hard for smaller businesses to follow, like a fine if the shop closes during the day. We do mobiles, so we go to people's hotel room and do their hair, do their blowouts for them. So sometimes we do have to leave, and then we'll um, put a notice of how to get in contact with us. So so um, I think it should be a little more leeway of that. On top of the lack of advertising and fines for closing doors, tenants say the park's elevators don't always work, forcing customers to find their way up the stairs. So it's like a maze to get up here. Joseph says there was a morning meeting to discuss the complaints, and she's hopeful that future projects already in place can help drive traffic to the third floor. More advertise on the bottom floor. We did um, talk to them about that, so they are willing to work with us. So um, it's just really advertising to let everybody know that we're here. Reporting in downtown, Marissa Keniston, Channel 13 Action News. We reached out to the downtown project for comment, but have not heard back yet. Some new information.